The RX 460 is currently the lowest cost card there from the RX lineup from AMD, though how does it compare against something of similar price? Today I'm going to put it head to head against the 750Ti. Welcome to Tech City, this is Brian Hitton home with a graphics card review, one that involves a newcomer. The Nitro RX 460 from Sapphire, which was provided as a review sample. And another which I've actually had around here for a while, and I put it in a budget build in the past, the Galaxy GTX 750 Ti. Though without wasting any more of your time, let's dive straight into the benchmarks. So before we get into the results, I'll quickly talk about the overclocks. The RX 460, I managed to get an extra 100 megahertz out of the core, which is pretty healthy, and the temperatures were very well controlled. This uh, particular model didn't even go into the 60 degree mark. And this was on the stock fan profile, which was really quiet at all times. The 750 Ti ironically overclocked like a beast. I mean, it's the smallest fan and heatsink I've ever seen on a 750 Ti before, yet it's the best overclock I've ever seen on a 750 Ti. So as for those games, at 1080p both of these cards handled all those popular multiplayer titles perfectly fine. Titles like CSGO, WoW Legion, Overwatch and Dota 2 with either max or high settings. Now, I didn't test League of Legends because in my experience if a graphics card can handle Dota 2 at 1080p max settings then it'll have absolutely no problems handling League of Legends at max settings at 1080p and most likely 2K or even 4K. Though I was kind of surprised though, the 750 Ti did score minor victories in three of the titles that I tested here, those being Overwatch, WoW Legion, and also Dota 2. Though the RX 460 did give the 750 Ti a big ass whooping when it came to Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Fire Strike, and also Doom on Vulcan, with those benchmarks really showcasing that whole V8 versus 4 cylinder debate going around with AMD versus Nvidia at the moment. Though looking at the RX 460s from Sapphire, it comes in two different flavors. You get the 2GB variant, which I can currently see priced around about $116. Then there's the 4GB variant, which is the Nitro Edition, and this comes with LEDs and also a 6-pin power connector there, whereas opposed to the 2GB, it only draws from the PCIe power connection. Oddly enough though, I found myself liking the price of the 2GB variant a lot more as it comes closer to that $100 price point, which I would like to see it sitting at a flat $100 if possible. As for an entry level gaming card, if you couple it with a cheap $70 eBay uh, used OEM PC for example or quad core, then you could have yourself a pretty impressive 1080p gaming PC for under $200. Though the 4GB flavor currently sitting at around about $140 is pretty high, I'd like to see that at around about $120 because at its current price it currently starts to step into that RX 470 territory or even a used GTX 970 or R9 390, which all three of those cards will handily beat the RX 460 without a problem, not to mention the GTX 1060 coming in around about $200. All in all though, solid card from Sapphire, the build quality and the cosmetics are really nice on this card, temperatures are low. Noise is extremely quiet thanks to those dual nitro fans. Even on the stock fan profile and even overclocked to the max, it still didn't creep over 60 degrees and it remained very quiet. Also on idle, the fan stopped spinning completely, which on this graphics card is really nice. Since it's got a low power draw to begin with, the temperatures didn't really creep over 40 degrees, even with the fans not spinning at all. Though ultimately the RX 460 from Sapphire is a nice little card for 1080p gaming especially on those popular multiplayer titles that I can recommend if the price is right, which for the 2GB variant is getting close, though the 4GB variant 
like the Nitro here today, I think it needs to come down a little bit in price to really make it a solid card in the market. But that's just my opinion. Anyway guys, if you like this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know what you guys think of the RX 460 in the comments section below. Love to hear your thoughts. And as always, I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.